Happy Wednesday to all you math-minded maniacs out there in TV land. It's time for another super -rific episode of Math Homework Hoppers. Stick around. We'll be right back. to help you with your math homework and give you prizes just for calling in. With us today are two fantastic teachers from Hillcrest Elementary School. We have the super cool Mr. Donovan. And from Chesapeake High School, we have the super chill Mr. Gosso. Hey, Polly, I have to ask, what is Max doing? Max? Mr. Donovan, Max isn't here today. No, Polly, like Mr. Donovan, I do see Max. He's right in the door window. You guys are so silly. He's totally not there. That's right. I am not here at all. I've been practicing my invisibility superpower, and I've finally gotten it down. I'm completely invisible. Well, uh, I hate to burst your invisible bubble, Max, but uh, Mr. Gosno and I can see you just fine. Well, of course you can. Ha ha! My invisibility power only works on puppets. Max, where <laughs> are you? I can hear your voice, but I don't know where you are. See what I mean? Very impressive, Max. Yes, of course it is. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Gosnell. And now to reveal myself. Here we go. Voila! Oh, Max, there you are! Ha ha! Hey. Hello, uh, I have no <laughs> words other than let's get the show started. Oh, sounds like a good idea. <laughs> this is your first time watching. You should know that we have prizes. All you have to do is call into the show with a math question, and then you will have the chance to win one of four very cool prizes from our math homework helpers, Puck, to pick a prize wall. Mr. Donovan, what are the prizes for today? Well, today we have a water bottle, a <coughs> flashlight, a nice. crazy pen with Woo. a pan on it, and a BCPS TV backpack. I love those backpacks. Don't forget that after we help our callers with their math problem, we'll drop the puck in the puck to pick a prize wall, and the caller will win whatever the prize. Wait, I messed that line whatever up. The oh, my goodness, Max, help me. That's I'm okay. Trouble. That's okay, Polly, I'm here for you. Thank you. The prize will be given. Whatever the puck lands on is the prize that's given to the kid. Okay. Yeah, that's it, that's it, thank you. Oh Sounds great, you two. Let's yeah. get things moving and go to the phones. The phone number to call is 410-494-1459. That number again is 410-494-1459. Uh, Max, who's our first caller of the day? Well, it just so happens our first caller is Amber from Norwood Elementary. Amber, are you there? Amber? Can you hear us, Amber? Uh-oh. Maybe she's invisible. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go, Silent. Where did Amber go? Amber? Amber? No. Amber! Oh, you know what? What? There might be a technical difficulty. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Hold on, guys. I'll go see if I can help out. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Go do it, Max. Oh, Max. Figure it all out. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Uh, Amber, can you turn your TV down? It might be a little too yeah. loud, causing uh, a little bit of feedback. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Well, I think Amber, turn your TV down, honey. I think I heard Max talking to Amber, but maybe there's some sort of technical difficulty we're, we're messing up here. But we're going to work hmm. through it. I bet she'll figure it out. Well, Whoop. you know what? Yep. Okay, I it's almost done. Oh, oh good job. One more second. We just have a Thanks, few things Max. left to do. Hold on. What? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to hammer some things here. I just just remain calm, that. everybody. This is a live show, okay? Stuff Max, happens sometimes. Max, it's okay. Stop. Oh Amber's God. still watching. She's there. She's listening to us. We're just talking. Okay. La, la. I bet she's ready with her, pro her um, problem. Let's see. Amber, are you there? Yes. Somebody's losing their job on this one. Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Max. Oh, All Max. Right. Oh, man. Be Max. careful with the set. Amber, we can hear you inside. We just. 
Go ahead yeah. and keep talking for us. We're going to get this figured out. Yeah, so what, 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 what question? question? Amber, what question are you, uh, are you calling about? Because uh, Max dropped off your homework this morning, and, uh, and I think we already have your problems. Which number are you working on? Number four. Can any Max, do you know what number we're working on? Number four. Number four, okay. So Ooh. maybe you guys can read that yeah, out loud. we can't hear anything. Okay, Let's I'll read it out loud. Four. Here we go. Mr. Gosnell's going to take over. Here we this go. This is for you, This Amber. is how we make things work, people. This is awesome. Oliver has 11 pencils bet to share between himself and his 10 other friends. Oh. So it's Oliver and 10 friends. How many pencils does each person get? Draw a picture and write an equation to represent the problem. So we have ten, we have two different steps here, Mr. Gosnell. Okay. So we have eleven pencils. And I heard draw a picture. Right. We need to draw a picture, Ooh, a picture first. You exactly love right. You love them too, Polly. I see the pictures. The pictures, pictures are wonderful. They make life so Five. great and you happy. Know what? I should group these like this. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to count them if they're all together like that. So Perfect. So we'll put them in groups of five with one little extra over. Okay. 11 pencils right there, and that's the same color as a pencil. I like that. Orangish yellow. That's fantastic. Amber, can you hear me? And then we have, now this is where it gets a little tricky because yes. it says between himself and 10 Amber other yet. friends, yep. hmm. but it has the number 10, but I don't think it's 10 friends. Right, right. I'm thinking that if we have the 10 friends, you know, Oliver doesn't want to be left out of this as well. Oliver is going to need a pencil as well. Exactly. So I'm thinking we've got 11, 10 friends. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we and have you to can't make forget sure Oliver. Yep. Got to make sure we cool. have Oliver in there somewhere. Hey, Mr. So maybe Gosnell, as can I we have Amber count this, the pens? Okay. Imagine all of these um, blue people. Yeah. Excuse me, there. Um. Cool. So you're standing in front of the paper. We can the do the trick. First off, I want to make sure that everybody gets an equal amount of pencils. So I'm just going to start assigning these out. Yeah. Here we go. One pencil. Oh, they're all four. stuck together. There we go. One for him, one for her, one for Oliver, etc., etc. <laughs> awesome. Yep, yep, yep. And it looks like as I do this, there's not going to be enough left over for everyone to get a second pencil. So I have a feeling, from what this is looking like, that everybody is going to get one pencil. Definitely. 11 people, 11 pencils. That makes perfect sense. Nice. So we used a picture to model and represent and show what we're doing with this problem. But I think the question also said, Mr. Donovan, we have to write an equation? Yep, we have to write a, a mathematical equation, it said, to represent the problem. Hmm. Well, we can, we can probably stick with our same color. So if we start with 11 pencils. So we got the 11 pencils. 11 yep. pencils. And if we're putting them into groups, that means we're probably using um, division. I like division. it. We're taking those pencils. We're going to put them in division. <laughs> and how many people did we have in this problem total? We had Oliver. And his 10 friends, so 11 people total. I like it. Cool. 11 divided by 11. Hmm. And how can we go ahead and solve that? Well, I remember one property that we use all the time, especially in high school, when it has to do with fractions. If we have the same number on the top of a fraction yep. and the same number on the bottom of a fraction, they cancel out and become the number 1. Exactly right. Good so when job. I'm looking at this here, and it's lovely and color-coded to our picture, we have Matches. 11 pencils to divide among 11 participants total. Each person will receive one pencil. Awesome. And we could even write it, so Amber's in third grade, so she's probably writing it as a division problem, 11 pencils nice. divided by 11 people, and we still get our same answer of one pencil for each person. So you know what I think? What? You get a pencil, and you get a pencil, and you get a pencil. And everybody gets a everybody pencil. Everybody gets a pencil. And hopefully, oh, thank you, Polly. hopefully Amber will win a. Get a pencil too, Mr. <laughs> hopefully Amber will win a crazy pen <gasps> Ooh, so that she can check her work with in math class at Norwood. Does that mean it's time to drop the puck to pick a prize? I think so. Here we okay, go. Okay, let's do it. Oh, water, water bottle. bottle! Awesome. Nice. All it's right. always important to stay hydrated. Thank Thanks for calling, Amber. Lots of bottle. And thank you, Mr. Take Donovan. Care. Thanks yeah, for calling. We use these fraction bars in high school. This division symbol is definitely yeah. where what's being used in fourth grade and third grade. And when uh, and when Amber gets to uh, fifth grade, we start using those fractions to represent division problems and things like that. So definitely, cool. definitely. Awesome, awesome job. Uh, okay. Holly, do we have another caller? Yes, we do. It's Mame from Wellwood Elementary. 
elementary school? Oh, it's another Norwood Good elementary Mame. caller. Awesome. Mame. Oh, that's I Mamie. Mame. Mamie. Hey, Mamie. I'm Mamie, Mame. how are you? Here. I don't know what's going on. What the heck? I thought Max was fixing things. Is he just invisible again? Where is he? Where did he go? Maybe Max could talk to us in secret. I'm trying to visit. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that was. I got you. Just startled me, Max. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm still working on it. I'll be right back. Get done. He's still working on it. Technical difficulties. We're doing well, though. We're hanging in there. Okay. Um. Well. I wonder what number she wants to work on. Mamie probably knows what number and then. We can put it on the board. Yeah, Mom we can still put it on the board. The awesome. Well, I still have another question from uh, uh, Norwood Elementary School. And why don't we stick with this, uh, the other word problem we have about Kelly and her pencils. More pencils. Yeah. All right. okay. Mr. Gosma, you want to read that one for us? Definitely. And you got cool. a pencil and you got a pencil. Kelly has zero pencils uh -oh. put into her three pencil boxes. Oh, man. Oh, no. She needs to be friends with Oliver. Wait so a second. Yeah. She needs some pencils. Draw a picture and write a division equation to represent her problem. How many pencils will she have in each box? Okay, so she has three pencil cases, you said? That's correct. Oh, Kelly okay, has zero cool. pencils and three pencil wow, cases. Wow, three pencil pouches or three pencil cases. I'm going to use black and red. I mean, sorry, black and purple. Just for those ravens. Okay, so we've, well, this is, this is interesting. So if we start with zero pencils... And we're going to use division again They're just letting me because we're putting them into groups gonna, of three, right? Um, Zero divided that by mean three. You're gonna, after this, you're going to put me on? Well, if we start with no pencils, we can't split them up into three groups, right? <laughs> so how many pencils no, will no, go no, in each box? I'm thinking that all those pencil cases were empty to begin with. Um, it right. doesn't matter how many pencils yeah. I had. And I go to look at all my pencils. I have zero. I think those pencil cases are going to stay empty. Yeah, they're going to stay empty. What? So no pencils? We might be tough to draw a picture because we can't draw any pencils. We start with zero pencils, and we try to split zero between three people or three pencil pouches, and the pencil pouches still have zero pencils. I feel bad for Kelly. She has no pencils. Oh, zero that is a bummer. pencils for you and for you. But I bet, oh. since Oliver has 11 pencils from before, he could probably let her borrow oh, some. Okay, that hope. makes me feel a lot better that yep. he's going to share. Sharing is really important. Hey, can we see if we can hear Bobby? Well, maybe we should drop the. Well, Bobby, are you there? Can you hear us, Bobby? Oh, we can't hear Bobby. Maybe not yet. All right, so we're going to drop the puck. Yeah, to pick drop a that for puck, Mr. G. Maybe get yes, ready. maybe Here we can go. get you a crazy pen so you have something to write with. All right, right. Let's something see. to put in those pencil pouches. Let's see what you get. I'm here, I'm here. I'm right here, to I'm the here. water bottle. Oh, another water bottle. Awesome. All right, Mamie got a water bottle. Thanks for calling, Mame. Woohoo! All right, guys. Bobby's ready. Max, are you back? Are you back? I'm back. So I don't think we got the sound yet, but I was thinking maybe we could do another problem real quick for everybody at home. Okay. But Bobby, Bobby's there and he can hear. He can hear us, but we can't hear him, which means it's hard for us to be able to help him out. I, I so, think I understand that. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So the good thing me? is, is that Bobby is also hello, in third hello, grade, hello. means he would be doing a similar problem. He okay. would. So we could pick another one from that sheet. Do we have any more from that sheet? Still can't hear you, Bobby. Sorry. We, we have, uh, from anything. the sheet? Yeah, definitely. Well, okay. you know what we could do is we could do another pencil question. Oh, I like the pencil questions. All right. Pencils um, But this everybody. time, we could kind of use Mame's three pencil case, uh, Maybe. pencil case Maybe. Mamie's question. Three pencil pouches, right? But instead of using zero pencils, we could try and draw a picture with our three pencil pouches. And let's start with oh, very nice. Mr. G. How many pencils do you have? Nine. Nine pencils. Nine pencils. Here we go. Nine, nine pencils. Whoops, that's a wacky looking nine. It's a cool looking nine, man. <laughs> Let me go back. Back, back. We have nine pencils. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to stick with this purple. I'm going to draw. Oh. Mamie's three pencil pouches. Purple like the ravens. They're going Purple. all the way this year, guys. Uh -oh. You just wait. Oh, <laughs> Max, I have some bad news for you. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, While you were invisible, oh boy, the Don't ravens did not win. Break it to him gently. That's okay. They'll win next week. <laughs> oh, well, if that were the case, you know, we wish that was possible. Okay, but back to the question. You, they won't, they if won't. we have nine <laughs> pencils, if Mamie has nine pencils, and we're going to put them into three pencil pouches, we can start drawing each pencil in the pencil pouches, right? One, nice. two, three, four, 
five, six, and we're going to stop once we get to nine. Seven, eight, nine. So Very in each nice. pencil pouch, how many do we have, Mr. G? Each one in there looks to have three pencils. Three pencils in each pencil pouch. So here's our division equation. I nine like divided by three, and that gets us three pencils in each. Three pencils. Cool. So I'm so happy I chose a number that worked out evenly. Yeah. What would have happened if we had 10 pencils instead? If 10 pencils, then we'd have one pencil left over over here, and we would have three pencils with one with a remainder of one. Ooh, that's a very nice word, remainder, because it's what remains. Three. Right. There's one that left over. Oh, that remains. Five. But if you once you get into fifth grade, and I'm sure in high school, we could turn this remainder Nine. into a decimal. And that's what we're doing in my fifth grade classroom right now. Oh, so cool. if we took that extra Two, pencil and kind of three, broke it up into even four, pieces right. and put them into each box so that they were even, that would be Right, we could put one main. third of a pencil in I each. Hey, that's we could a cool split idea. Split it up. But nice, wait, who, nice. who gets the point and who gets the eraser? <laughs> uh, that's going to be up to you, Max. I'm okay. not sure. Those Max, are big decisions. Where, I don't know if I can make them. Like oh, where are you, Max? Well, I tell you what. Let's do this. He's not a good boy. I say we we uh, do the puck to pick a prize wall for Bobby, who's been waiting so patiently. Oh yeah, great job. Oh, awesome. let's do that. I oh, agree. Let's do that. Take let's it away, see, Mr. Bobby. Bobby. Thank you so much for Keep calling in. Back. Sorry, we can't hear you, but you are backpack. backpack. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Hey, cool. Awesome job, Bobby. Thanks for calling, nice. even though we yeah. couldn't hear you very so well. Bobby, make sure you yeah, call back again next week, buddy, when we got the sound working better. Definitely. Yeah, do it. Man, Mr. Gosnell, that haircut looks amazing. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank I was thinking you. of getting a haircut, but man, you don't want to see me without my fur. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're right, because that, you know, ooh, I remember that day. Oh, let's not talk about that day. Okay, okay, we won't. All right. Wait, did we mention Polly's uh, homework oh, helper yeah, cards? Yeah. What is that? Ooh. Wow. Ooh. What is this, Polly? Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. So Who? we can send some of those to our callers today, too. Who yeah, gets these every postcards? Caller gets a postcard of Polly today. Look at this. There I am. Look at me. Extreme uh -oh. close up. Uh, what's, what's on the back there? What's on the back there, Mr. That's me. That's Polly. Mr. Donovan, if you turn it around, what's on oh, the other side? Oh, sorry. Adam. Uh, it says it has a couple of Polly's favorite <laughs> sayings and a couple of uh, interesting facts about Polly, like her favorite song is What's your favorite song, Polly? Don't worry, be happy. Yeah! How awesome. Did you know? How did you know that was my favorite song? You want to sing it with me, Max? Come on, let's sing it. Here's a little me. song I wrote. No. I might want to sing it. Ay, no, ay, ay. No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry. worry. Be, be happy. happy. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm a really your... good singer. I sing all the time. Very nice. Um, yeah, thank back you. to the math, guys. Oh, yeah, sorry. Back to the math. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 right. All right. So let's try one more problem like that. We'll see one more time if we can get this thing fixed up. All right, cool. Yeah, Max, come on. Do so it Mr. right Donovan, this time. Go ahead. Give us another one. All right, another one. Okay. Here we go. Well, this is going to be a fifth grade question. Oh, yes. And we're going to kind of use, we're going to do what Mr. Gosnell was asking earlier about what happens if you have some remaining pencils or remaining um, items when you're trying to put them into groups. So in my class, we're doing some division problems like, hmm, what would be a good one? We could say, how many times does three go into uh, one, 105? Oh, wow. That's a that's lot. A Holy yeah. mackerel. But in my class, we've even been doing, and I should probably change purple. It might be a little hard to see even. But we've been using decimals. Right so we've been saying, how many times does three fit inside of 10 and 5 tenths? Mr. Gosnell, you, oh, I'm not sure if you teach long division in uh, high school or not, but um, do you know what we would do first? Man, it has been a long time since I have practiced a long division problem. But thinking back, I think we have to figure out how many times three goes into the five first. Oh, and we're not going to start with the five just yet. And it got really loud in here, Polly. I, I can't hear. Oh, oh. I think we have an extra speaker going on in here. Um, <laughs> feels very echoey. I wonder if they can hear that at home. I think they tried to put the caller on the speaker, but they, oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. Now we're back at it. Okay. So before we get. Is that what I sound like? <laughs>
Before we get to the five, Mr. Gosnell, we're going to ask how many times does three fit inside of this one? And what I like to teach nice. okay. my students is if you have one, we're going to go one, one place value at a time. If you have one and you try and make three from it, you can't do it, right? If you have a dollar, you can't hand mm. that dollar to three people unless no, you break can't. it up into change, yeah. right? So what I like to do is I like to teach my kids or my students, we either exit out or we put a zero on top. And then we're going to look at the one and the zero together, and we can almost cover up that five in the tens place value. But Mr. Gosnell, okay, okay. I bet you can tell me how many times three fits into ten without going over. Yes, I'm thinking about that problem we just did with the ten pencils. Three goes into ten evenly three times to make right, nine. Right, and there's nine pencils total. So when we multiply these out, and this even acts as like a little multiplication sign, three times nine is, I'm sorry, three Seven, times three. Eight, nine. Is, I hear Oh, I hear, I hear somebody. Amaya, are you counting to 10? Yay, that's yes. it. That's awesome. It. All right, Amaya, well, we're going to finish this problem real quick, and then I bet you have one for us. So then we're going to subtract, because division is repeated subtraction. We'll bring down our five. Mr. Gosnell, how many times does three fit into five? 15. Three into 15. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. How many five is that? Times. Five times. Cool. We'll multiply those out, and we'll subtract again, and we're left with none. And all we have to do here is bring our decimal point up, and our answer is three and five tenths. So if I never gonna believe this. Oh, Max! I was able to get the thing working. Yes. You Great did. job, Max. Max, what was the problem? Oh well, so it turns out that you have to turn the thing on. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's a power button you know? that says on to work. Rule number uh, one. Rule number one. Rule always number see one. if it's plugged in first. There you go. All right. Well, let's, let's move on. It. Here we go. Amaya, are you there? Yes. Woo! Woo All right. Amaya, can you turn down your TV just a little bit? Okay. All Thank right. you. Oh, this is great. This is almost as cool as Mr. Gosnell's here. Jump in there. Hey, thank you, sir. Mr. Gosnell's no. turn. Let's do it. All right, Amaya, so what is your question for us today? And, um, oh, there we go. Oh, man, I got work. No. Times 840. No, 9 divided by 840. 9 divided into? I think so. 840. Did you say 840, Amaya? Yes. Okay. Is the 840 yes. inside of the division house like that? Because if we did. Yes. Okay, okay cool. Yeah, if I had right. nine dollars and eight hundred and forty friends, yeah, holy they would smokes. We'd get be in trouble. Pennies. Yeah, they would get. So in freckles. high school, we might represent this as eight hundred forty divided by nine this way. So these uh -huh. two mean the same yep. thing. Okay. You know, Mr. Donovan, I'm so glad that you talked to me about long division. You've had me access some some memories. I need to see if this nine goes into eight first. I don't think it does. Yeah, my. Th we can't take nine dollars and no, create eight to even go groups. To the oven beautiful, ah, very good. beautiful. So I really liked your strategy of putting an X here, just to keep in mind that we can't work with just that eight. So we're gonna work with the eight and the four, eighty-four. Amaya, do you know how many times nine goes yes. into eighty-four? Nine. Uh, very good. It goes in nine times, nine and nine. What is nine times nine? So we gotta count out all of our nines and get as close to 84 as possible. All right. Whoa. Very nice. Nice, Amaya. We have 81. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my line here like you had before, and we're going to go ahead and subtract them to see what's left over. Four minus one. Can you give that to me, Amaya? Three. Very good. good Very job. nice. So we have a three here, and then eight, Minus eight, that's going to be pretty easy. What is that? Zero. Awesome. So I don't have to write anything for that. Um, this zero at the end here, though, that's we haven't worked with that yet. So I want to bring this down to join the three to make 30. And now my question becomes, how many times does nine go into three? Th well, in this case, well, well, it doesn't go into three, right? It can. But it can go into 30, But it right? can go into 30. So how right. close to 30 can we get, Amaya? How many nines can we get to get as close to 30 as possible here? Three, 27. I like it. Great I like job. it. Nine times three here gives us 27, just like you said. 
And we have to do a little bit of the same process that we just did. 3 minus 2, and then we have this 0 minus 7. So maybe we should start on this side if we're doing subtraction. What is 30 minus 27, Amaya? 3. Good job. Very nice, good. very nice. If you were stuck with that, you could borrow 1, yep. make this 10, make this 2, end up subtracting these, and you would end up with 3 anyway. Good job. So it looks like this does not work out evenly. If I was going to draw 840 pencils, I would not be able to have equal groups of 9. This 3 left over is what we call that remainder. Right. Remainder of 3. I'm not exactly sure yeah, how we just write put that. A, put it on R3. Um, Amaya, what did you, you put an R and you can put yep. a 3. There you go. There, so beautiful. Amaya knows what's going on. She knows what's going on. Cool. That's what I was going to ask is what, sh what she's been doing in her Newtown classroom with those remainders because, you know, sometimes you write the remainder. Other times, like in fifth grade and in sixth grade, you can take that remainder and put it in and turn it into a decimal. So great job. Nice, nice. And I tell you what, you know what else is neat? You really need to know your multiplication facts. You know what I mean? That really helps out. It does. Makes it go a lot easier, a lot faster, too. They're Definitely. actually related. What? Yeah. Like brother and sister? Kind of. <gasps> That's pretty crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. They're, they're related. They're opposites, right? They're inversely related is what we call it in fifth grade. Oh. I bet Mr. Gosnell deals with that in high school. Inverse. I like that in word. Words. In in verse. Verse. Inverted. Because I was inverted, you know? Like upside down? Oh. Yeah. Hey, you guys you know what you're talking yeah. about. This is wonderful. All right, well, let's move on. Speaking of wonderful, it's All right. time to drop the puck, Mr. Uh, yep, Mr. Donovan there dropping the puck. Puck that big a prize wall. Oh, water another water bottle. bottle. You know what? It is so important to stay hydrated these days. I was going to say, we're forcing it. Drink in the water. Okie okay, right. dokie, you guys Make ready sure for another caller? We have another caller. Let's do this. Another right. caller. Let's go. Polly, who's up? It's Rico from Pinewood in grade three. Rico, All right. you there? Hey, Rico. Now we're, now we're working. Let's do some math. I gotta stop wearing this black shirt. I blend right into the yeah. TV. <laughs> I see a floating head and hands. Wow. Oh, there you are. I see you now. Rika, are you there? Uh, Rika? Rika! You know, when I started doing the invisibility thing earlier, I was really hoping it was just me. <laughs> yep, it, it seems to have rubbed off on a few people. You're really good at it, Max. You well, are. Well, I, I gotta say. Rika, can you hear us? Good job, oh. Max. Oh, did she just hang up? I think that was something Aww. to do with the, uh, the speaker. technology. Something oh, man. with technology, well, you, you never what. know. How about we do this, guys? Maybe we, whoop. Oh, there's another caller. Nathan, oh. are you, Nathan, are you there? Hi, Nathan. I Nathan, can you hear us? Nathan. It's, like, it's like a tornado. Hi, Nathan. <laughs> Hi, Nathan, can you hear us? Hello? Hello, Hello. how are you? Hello? Uh-oh. Hi, Nathan. Can you hear us, Nathan? Hello? <laughs> Hello. Hi, Nathan. I don't know if Nathan can hear uh -oh. us. Oh, can there you read you us are. your math yeah. problem, Nathan? <laughs> the reason I can't hear you guys. Can, can you hear? You can't hear us? Nathan can't hear Is us. your TV too loud? I mean, I can hear you on the television, though. Okay, right. well, then, oh, good. then that might be the best way to do it, sadly. Can you? All righty. Well, it sounds okay. like Nathan's being raised by aliens, but we'll keep yep. going here. <laughs> read us your read us your problem, Nathan. Um, four hundred divided by six. Four hundred divided by six. Okay, cool. Nathan. Nathan, how have you been solving this at your um at your class in relay? At relay. So I do the standard algorithm. Okay, Nicely cool. Done. Oh, wow. We've already done a few problems like this. I love the lingo too. Nathan, there's all the word. big math words. Now, here's a here's a question, Nathan. If you have a if you have a remainder, what do you do with the remainder? Do you label it as a remainder? Yes. All right, cool. Okay, okay, okay. great. We're gonna stick with our kind of the same questions that we were saying before, right? All right. Yep. So Nathan, can we fit if we're gonna go one place value at a time? Okay. Can we fit does six fit inside of four? Okay. Does it fit in? Uh, no. Right, four divided by six, we can't do it. I'm going to do that little yep. X that I was talking about earlier. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to look at 4D. How much, yep. Nathan, how many times does six go into 4D? Uh, six. It does, six times. Great job. You know your math, your multiplication facts pretty well, it yep. sounds like. 
So what cool. is six yep. times six? Right, now we're gonna multiply um, six times six. 36. Great job. Six times six is 36. Uh, and then 36. here, are we gonna add or subtract? Uh, we're gonna subtract 40 from 36. How much is that? Uh, four. Four, awesome. And then what do we do now? And then we bring down the zero and add it to the four. Great job. So, and now we're left with a, with a similar question, right? 4D yep. divided by 6. And how many 6s fit in? 6. Another 6. And we're going to... 36. Right, 36 again. And how much, do we, how much do we have left over? Uh, 4. 4, exactly right. So, so it's going to be 66 remainder 4. Great job. Wow. 66 with a remainder of 4. Super well job. Well done, Nathan. All right, Nathan. You. Here's your follow-up question, Nathan. Because yep. in my math class, we're always trying to make sure our answers are correct, okay? Uh -huh. Do you know okay. how you can take this 66 remainder 4 and your divisor of 6? How can you check your answer? Oh, you can uh, Google it. You can do 66 times 6. Uh-huh, 66 times 6. Oh. And, I, yeah. and you already told me that 6 times 6 is 36. Yep. And 6 times 6 again is 36 plus another 3 <laughs> is... 39 or 396. Okay, well, I have 396. What do I need then to do now? We do 396 plus 4 equals 400. All right, then we're going to add our remainder. Yep. And nice add effect. 4, and now we have 400. And that's what we started with right there, right? Yeah. So we're right? It came full circle. That's it a did. great way to check your work. That is cool. Yes. When I check full my work, I usually just circle. put a check mark next to it. This well, is yeah. better. <laughs> that is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now right, Nathan, Nathan knows he got it yeah. right and we got it right. Well, we got something else cool for you. You ready for this, buddy? We're going to drop the puck with the puck to make a prize. Whoa, here it is, Mr. Oh, go, 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 drop the puck. Oh, oh. oh, oh crazy oh, pen. Crazy pen. Crazy pen. Good job. Thanks, Nathan. Nathan. Bye, Nathan. We'll see you, bud. We'll send that crazy pen right out to you. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Yep, bye. Bye. Nathan's going to get his Polly postcard. Polly <laughs> postcard. So popular, Polly. I am jealous. Thank you. Yep, pretty sweet. Well, you can have one, Mr. Gosman. I'll send one home oh, with you. Yes. I you know, always wanted one. Too. Yeah. Oh. You want my autograph? You know, and you want we, my, and we an do autograph use math. For you. Okay, and Polly. An autograph for you. All right, Polly, we got one. Polly, come on. Oh, we got okay. a show to Sorry. do, Polly. Sorry. Okay. So we do use math in, in our lives many different ways, not just in math class. Let's head out to the streets of Baltimore County Public Schools to see who Maria is talking to now. Oh, I love these. Math on the street. Hola, yo soy Maria, and I love math. Here at BCPS, we use math every day, everywhere, and in every office and school. Come with me, I'll show you how. Today, I'm here at Riderwood Elementary with instrumental music teacher, Mr. Muller. How you doing, Maria? I'm great, thanks for asking. Can you tell me how you use math in music class? Yeah, sure. Actually, we use math all the time. One of the biggest ways musicians use math is by counting beats. And we do that so we know when to play our notes and how long to play those notes for. For example, if I wanted to play a whole note, and if this was my beat, a whole note lasts for four beats, it would sound like this. And we call that a note value, that its value is four beats long. But if I want, I could play a shorter note and cut a whole note in half. So if I have a whole note which gets four beats, mm -hmm. and I cut that in half, now all of a sudden I'm just playing a note that gets two beats, and of course we call that a half note. And it sounds half like this. Note. There you go. And we can go even farther. If you want to play even shorter, you could cut a half note in half, and if that's two beats, half of two is just one, and those are called quarter notes, and they just get one beat a note. But here's where it gets interesting in music, because if you want, you could actually play shorter notes. You could cut a quarter note in half and get an eighth note. And the neat thing about eighth notes are they're only a half a beat a piece, so actually it takes two eighth notes to equal one beat. And they sound really fast like this. And you can go even farther. If I wanted, I could take an eighth note and cut it in half, and I'd be left with a sixteenth note. Or I could take a sixteenth note and cut that in half, I'd have a thirty-second note. And if I 
fourth, cut that in half, a sixty fourth note, and so on and so forth. And if you notice, these are all fractions, right? Yeah. So this is just commonplace in mathematics. Well, it's also commonplace in music. And the best part is when you put all that together, whole notes and half notes and quarter notes and eighth notes, and you add different pitches, you can play anything you want. Wow, that's so cool. Who knew that you used fractions in music class? There you go. Thank you so much for sharing. Thanks for coming out, Maria. Adios. Adios. was there with Maria. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. That Max, was not Max. Are you plugging Max. things in again, Max? What's going on back there? We are taking care of the technical difficulties. Max is hard at work. Still working on stuff. He'll take oh care. Oh, God. there it goes again. It's going to be OK. Max is on the job. All right, Polly, do we have another caller? Yes, we do. Hi, Noel from Hillcrest Elementary School. How are you? Uh-oh. Noel, can Max, you hear us? Max, what you do? Did you break it again? Sounds like Noel's part robot. I have a Noel in my class too. I actually have two Noels. Noel. Two Noels. Noel. 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 Oh, there, there is. she is. Hi, How Noel. Are you? Do you have Hi. a homework question? Is this Noel S or Noel D? Noel S. Oh, awesome, Noel S. Thanks for calling. What's your question? Um, if P divided by eleven equals twenty-two, does P divided by 11 in parentheses times 11 equals 22 times 22. Okay, is this P divided by 11 or P over 11 as a fraction? P over 11. For both of them? Yes. All right, can you read it? Okay, let's, I'm going to try it one more time. Um, so you said it's P over 11. Mm -hmm. And can you read it one more time? So it's P over 11 equals 22. Okay. That's your first. Yep. P over 11 in parentheses times 11 equals 22 times 22. Uh huh. Equals 22 times 22. Okay. Wow. Now, this That's is a, a pretty complex numbers. problem, huh, Noel? One, one, two, two. Mm -hmm. one, Noel, one, what two, do you two. know about this problem, though? Because I look at it and I say, well, they can't be equal because. They didn't multiply it by the same number. Right. What did they What did they multiply it by? First, they multiplied it by eleven, and then they multiply it by twenty-two. Right. On one side of our equation, they multiplied it by eleven. On the other side, they multiplied it by twenty-two. So they can no longer stay equal, right? Because of right. that that property we talked about in class. Remember what that property was called? The property of equality. Right. The property of equality. I'll write that up here. Just abbreviate. That sounds fancy. It is. It says, do you remember what it says, Noel? That if you have two numbers that are equal and you do the same thing to them, they'll stay equal. Right. So if you have like five on one side and five equals, um, you know, two plus three, if you multiply both sides by 10, then they still remain equal, right? Because you're going right. to do 5 times 10, and both sides are still going to equal 50. They're still going to stay equal. They might not be the same, but they're still going to be equal, right? Okay. Awesome job. Great job, Noel. Do we answer your question? Yes. All right. Noel, you did a great job on that. Are you ready to drop the puck? Yes. Okay, let's, let's do it. it. Let's see. Thanks for calling, Noel. What are we going to win, Mr. G? Let us see. Ooh, Ooh, a backpack. Oh, a pen, but instead you got a backpack. It's yeah. my cool. favorite. I think that worked out for you, Noel. Thanks, Noel. Very Bye, cool. Noel. Have All right, a good one. Cool. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Oh, man. We've had such wonderful callers today. I'm so proud of our callers, that. especially with all our technical difficulties. And they've yeah, been so knowledgeable about math. Yeah. yeah. Smart kiddos. Hey, guess what? Smart. What? There's another caller. What? Nice. Yeah, I know. Now we're rolling. Here we go. The wheels are turning. Who's on the phone there, Polly? It's Avon from Relay. He's oh. in fourth grade. Hey, oh, Avon, how's it grade. going? That's all fourth grade. Good, hi. Hello. Hi. Avon, what is your math problem for us today, kiddo? Hello. 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 Can you hear us? Um, four divided by 768. I'll take uh, that as a yes. Is it, was this in the division house as well, in your long division house? 
That's is that what you have, Avon? I, would I think was thinking so. if it was four divided by seven hundred sixty-eight. There, we're yeah. here. Yeah. We're can here. You, can you Hello. see the problem on on the screen, a Avon? Okay. All right, cool. So if we had four divided by seven hundred sixty-eight, that would be a very very small number if I had four pencils and yeah, seven hundred sixty-eight right. friends. So I think we want to tackle this problem instead: the four uh, dividing into seven hundred sixty-eight. So we're going to start off with that hundredths place here for this problem, the 7. Hopefully, 4 goes into 7, so we don't have to use other numbers yet. Um, Avon, does 4 go into 7? Avon, are you um, with me? No. Are you sure? No, wait, yes, yes. How many 4s can I fit into 7? One four. Very good. I agree. One four. So after I take or put that four in, I have to figure out what's left that wouldn't go into seven. So seven minus four is what number? That's going to be a three, Avon. Oh, are you there? I, I mean, I think we got a little delay, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, good, good. Sorry about that. Okay, so. We take down the three. We couldn't put the four into the three, so we have oh, to bring. My phone is just making a really weird sound. Okay, oh, well, that happens what, sometimes. We can just help solve the problem for you, buddy. Yeah, well, if you just listen along, Mr. Gosnell and I can help. We can help solve it. You just listen along, and maybe you give us a um, give us a shout if when we're done and tell if, uh, if you think it's okay or not. How's yeah, we sound? have a lovely group of puppets and Mr. Donovan here yeah, that can yeah. help me out. I so like that word lovely. Thank I you know, very much. Can I ask yeah, you a question, very Polly? Lovely, Max. I help. Okay, great. So, okay. Polly, I'm trying to figure out how many fours go into 36. Do you know that answer? Um, I'm thinking, I think it's um, nine times four. Nine times four, is that right? Is it nine? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, nine fours go into 36. Oh. Wait a minute, that goes in exactly, I think. It does. That's very nice. Wow, look at that. So, I have... 36 that worked out perfectly there. I'm going to draw my line. I'm going to go over to Max now. Max, yep. 36 minus 36 is, oh, there you signs. go. Yep. Nice, nice. Uh, 36 minus 36 is, um, hold on, I know this one. I know, it's zero. Good it's job, zero. Max. Very good, very zero. good. So, Mr. Donovan, we're done. I got zero. Well, we forgot about our eight up here in 768. We have to bring that one all the way down now. And now very we have to nice. say, how many times does four go into eight? Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Let's hear it. Um, green peppers. Oh, oh no, you no, got no, it. No, 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 hold on. Give me a second chance. Uh, two. <laughs> two. Good job. Good job I like that answer. Better. I like that answer a lot better. Yep. Appreciate that. Thanks. And let's see. That two times. four times two is That's eight. eight. We're going to subtract those. So Max, eight minus eight. Yeah, you're zero. good at this one. Oh, zero. you're good at zero, Max. Wait a second, now I'm done because I don't have any more numbers right. to grab. No, no remainder this either. time. So it looks like, no, that's not our problem. Let me scratch that out. 768 divided by 4 is equal to 192. And it looks like there is no remainder left over. So that is an even fit. So Perfect. that means you even don't even fit. have to write the little r, right? No, you don't have to at all. You can just leave it as 192. Very good job. Does that look good, Avon? Yeah, it was perfect for me. All right. Awesome. Cool. Yay, Thanks, Avon. All right. Thanks for being patient what? with us, yeah. Avon. We appreciate that. Yeah. It's time to drop the puck. Drop that puck. And win a puck. prize. Here we go, Mr. Donovan. Oh, crazy. Crazy Avon. Woo-hoo. Crazy. That is crazy. Have we gotten you. Thank you. Oh, thank Good you. job, Avon. I don't think so, Max. I don't think we used a flashlight Nobody's yet. Nobody's gotten the flashlight yet. Ooh. Well, if the lights go out in the studio, we oh, might need it. It wouldn't surprise me at this point nope. if the lights went out in the studio. Oh, like there it is. There it is. He's ready. Oh. <laughs> hey, guess what? Oh, yeah. We have another caller on oh, the phone. Do? Lots oh, of cool. math work going Thank around you. today. Kimbo, are you there? Yeah. 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 Hello. 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 Hi. Are you calling from Wellwood? Yes. Woohoo! So All what right. is your problem for us today, kiddo? It says, Tiffany wants to bake six, six batches of cookies. She 
sesame beans. Oh, that sounds delicious. All right. I love cookies. Mm, yes. I wonder you if they're your special cookie beans. snacks. Oops, that kind of looks like an eat. E -A -E and I, <laughs> it just says I have to use an array, repeat that addition, draw equal groups, multiplication sentence, and sketch out four. Wow, that's what? a lot. All of them? That is a lot to do. You have to do all those? I have to pick one, though. Oh, hmm. pick one. Okay. Whew. Which one do you want to do? I want to do skip count forward. Skip count forward. Okay. All right. Well, that's perfect. So if we have six batches, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, we can skip count and we can draw a picture because I want to draw our six batches. So if we're going to draw six batches, two, three, four, five, six, just so we know, right? And yeah. this kind of, we could, well, we'll come back to the number line in a second. So what are we going to skip count each? If we have six batches, what are we going to skip count by? Two. Perfect. So I could put two inside of each batch. Or I could look at a number line and I could skip count on number line. We're kind of combining a couple of your, uh, couple of your um, strategies here. So we're going to start with two, right? There's one batch. If we skip to two more, how many do we have? Two. What's two and another two? How much do we have? Four. Four, good job. And another two, how many do we have? Six. And another two? Eight. And another two? Ten. And two more, the last one? Twelve. Perfect, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six batches. How many cups of sugar will we need in all? Twelve. Twelve, exactly nice. right. Good job, twelve. That's some cups good skip. Of sugar. Good That's skip count, Kendall. Cool. Thank you. Great job. Does that answer your question? Yes. Great job. You did a nice job skip counting. Guess what time it is, my teacher friend. What should we do, Polly? We should drop the puck to get a prize for my friend Kepo. All right. Hey, there oh, we go. there's a flashlight. Flashlight, yay! Kepo right. gets a flashlight. She'll be safe in the dark. <laughs> All right. Sounds excited. Cool. Thanks for Thank calling, Kepo. Bye. Yeah, Mr. G. I'll switch sides. Thank you. I appreciate you that. So cool. before we take our next caller, we're going to head out to one of our very own Baltimore County Public Schools and check in for a Mighty Math Minute. Hi, I'm Natalie, and this is your Mighty Math Minute. Mighty Math Minute! So today, our problem is 6 eighths plus 3 eighths. So the first step in this problem is adding the numerator, which is the part of the fraction which is on the top of the line. So 6 plus 3 equals 9. Doing the denominator is a little bit different. When adding fractions, you must have a common denominator, which is the same denominator. Now we already have our common denominator of 8. So Here's our answer, 9 eighths. But this is an improper fraction. An improper fraction is when your numerator is larger than your denominator. So we can convert this into a mixed number. So 8 eighths equals 1 whole. We know 9 eighths is more than 8 eighths, so we know we have 1 whole in there. Now we have 1 eighth left over, our ninth eighth. So the answer is 1 and 1 eighth. But don't forget the equals sign. Mighty Math Minutes! I love these Mighty Math Minutes, but sometimes they are slightly longer than one minute. So I apologize to our <laughs> viewing audience for slightly misrepresenting that segment. Max, you're so silly. Let's talk to Angel from Norwood. She's on the phone for us. Angel, are you there? Yes. How's Hi, it going? Angel. Uh, she can hear us. Hi. So How what are is you? Your, what is your problem for us today there, kiddo? Kelly has zero pencils to put in into her three pencil boxes. That's not Draw a picture, a and write a division equation to represent her problem. How many pencils will she have in each box? So I think that 
I remember doing this problem. Right. So one strategy that is always helpful, no matter where you are in math, is to check your notes. Ah. So I'm going to go back through my notebook real quick and see if I can find Kelly's problem oh, yes, here. One more before that. Whoops. There it is. Hey, there we go. Sometimes I get lost in my notes. I always get lost in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're not invisible. At least you have them. Oh, good point. Now, is that a 1 16th <laughs> note, Max, or hey! a 1 8th note? There it is. I was watching. Very nice. That was a yep. way to tie in music to that. Fantastic. I like that. Looking gentleman. So, Kelly had the zero pencils and. Wait. Nope. She had zero pencils and three pencil cases. Oh, yeah. Pencil pouches. Yep. That's right. Cool. And we were trying to figure out exactly how we could have zero pencils, but then three pencil cases and get a number that wasn't zero. It's not like any of these pencils just get created out of thin air. Yeah. So, well, if I have. I come out of thin air occasionally. <laughs> You Poof. are. You're omnipresent. Where'd Max go? Max. Poof. <gasps> I'm here again. I think I he's, oh, he's fixing something. You paying the fence over there, Max? Uh, darn right I am. Somebody's got to do these jobs around here. You can <laughs> do it, Max. I believe in you. Oh, thanks, Paul. You're the best. Well, we could even replace it with anything. So if we have zero pencils and we have 100 pencil cases, right, we'll still don't have any pencils, so we can't split them up. What? That's oh. a great point. You've got to oh, have yeah. some pencils before you can even approach this problem, That's really. Right. Cool. It's like they're so all there's, invisible. So there's your equation, Angel, and there's, uh, there's our picture. We have three pencil pouches, but no pencils to put anything in there. So our answer is going to still be zero. Wow. Still zero. Yeah. It hasn't changed. All right. Very nice. Well, I know it's not zero. One of the prizes. That's true. We have that would be prizes. terrible. Angel, be can sad. you say drop that puck? Hmm? Can you say drop that puck? Drop that puck. Good Yay, job. Angel, good right. job. Thank you. Backpack. 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 So we did get a flashlight, right, that last time? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I we love it when all the prizes light. have been spoken for. We've had all the prizes today. Yeah, we don't want to leave any That's out, awesome. you know? Yeah, you don't want to no have prize any feel to feel sad out. and lonely. Hey, wait a minute. What? What? Our next caller is from Hillcrest. What? Oh, yeah? Joshua, are you there? Wait, should we? Yeah. Joshua, guess what? Mr. What? Mr. Donovan is here. Huh? Where? Where? Right Where? there. Where is right. he? Oh, there he's, he is. He's I'm up here in the corner. It's hard to see him sometimes <laughs> with that shirt on. He's blending in like invisibility. Here I am. Oh, there he is on his screen. snowboard. Yep. I could totally see him Looking snowboarding. Looking cool. Very cool. Okay, Joshua, how are you? Thanks for calling. Good. Can you see me? Yeah. Can you see my hands? They're floating. Look at that. No? Okay. Joshua, what's your question? Learn my five sub questions and four lemonade for a team and eight at a baseball game. If the sun is 18 and all, if the if all items if all the items are the same price, how much does each item cost? Alright, I heard eighteen and baseball. That's and all I heard. I heard. A four somewhere in there. Right, and a four. Okay. Well, you say four in golf. <laughs> four. Josh, Joshua, can you read that one more time, a little bit slower? Maybe one. Learn five five soft pretzels and four lemonades for our teammates at a baseball game. Okay. He spends eighteen in all. Spent eighteen. Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Okay. I heard that. I hear a coach if in the background. All the items are the same price. How much does each item cost? I love it. This is a great question. Thank you for rereading it. Okay, what should we do first, Joshua? What do you think we should do? You get messages over there? I don't know. Somebody's popular. <laughs> He's a popular guy. <laughs> I hear music. Computer's dying or something. I don't know what that is. You've got mail. Well, well, if these are all the same price, then it. Yep. What do you think, Josh? I think you do. I think you do five times. How, how many times can you put four into eighteen? You're right. We could do that. But if we have five pretzels and four lemonades, and you said both of these are the same price, then it really doesn't matter what they are, right? Because we have five items here and four items here. So we have so we have nine items total, right? So we're uh, the baseball coach or whoever bought it. He's buying nine things, right? 
Yeah. Okay, cool. And if he has $18, he spends $18 total, then we would take nine and we would multiply it, multiply it by the price and we would get $18, right? But yeah. we don't know the price yet, do we? No. So how could we find the price? Nine times what equals 18? Or we could use those inverse operations. Inverse! And we could maybe yeah. we could put them into groups, right? Divide. We could divide, right? Awesome. What sort of division problems, ha or how have you been solving division problems at um, Hillcrest? Who's your, who's your teacher, Joshua? Miss Randover. Awesome. So nice. what, what sort of strategies have you been using? Um, the, the, I'm using using multiplication sums. Cool. We could use multiplication. Okay, great. Well, if we have nine, and we, uh, and if each problem or each uh, item costs one dollar, how much money did we spend? Nine. Nine dollars, right? Cool. That's and if right. we have, if each item costs two dollars, and we have nine items, nine times two gives us how much? Eighteen. Eighteen, right? So. If we have 18 items and we divide it by nine, I'm sorry, if we have $18 and divide it by those nine items, how much are, is each item going to cost? Two. $2, right? Awesome job. Division! Division, we like division and here. like Max said earlier, multiplication because they're really, really related, right? Yes, yes they are. They are. Cool. Guess what time it is? Uh, I think it's close to 4.30. Time so for a snack. I mean, I'm time to talking pick about up yeah, Puck. Oh, Drop yeah, that's that right. Polly's got it. it. Come on. Drop that Joshua, puck, Mr. G. we're dropping the puck for you. Let's see. We haven't been here yet. Here it goes. What you going to win? What you going to win? Flashlight. Flashlight. Woo -hoo. Flash Woohoo! You will never light, be light. in the dark again. There it is. All right. Cool. Do we have time for one more, or is that it? Uh, oh, I think that's it. One? That's oh, it. No. Uh, well, kids, that's all the time we have for this episode. Be sure to tune in next week. And remember, Absolutely. we do re-air each... Watch out, Max. Whoa, Sorry. you scared me. <laughs> and remember, we do re-air each episode, so be sure to watch. You can even watch these episodes online on our YouTube page. YouTube. Check it out. Be sure to tell your friends to watch, too. We look forward to seeing everybody again next time. Over oh, here! Yeah.